Okay, hello and good morning everyone. Welcome to JFD Traders Espresso with me, Darius on the Charles, because today's the first trading day of uh this winter um so and of course the first trading day of december so welcome to the morning session of december 2nd uh 2019 so yep as always welcome everyone guys um as always we're going to have a look at the charts the usual stuff um but before we do that let's quickly have a read through our risk disclaimer so the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. As always, a few seconds for you to read the rest, and we can continue. Okay, also guys, before we jump into the charts, quick mentioning of our JFD YouTube channel here to which you can always subscribe to in order not to miss any of our upcoming videos and of course our JFD Bank website and specifically our JFD research page, which we update on a daily basis. So I believe you can find a lot of useful stuff here for yourself. So yep, feel free to visit us here. Um, but for now, let's jump into the charts. Now, the first one I wanna touch on here is the DAX, so the German index. Now, the index continues to trade within this kind of wide range here that we've got ourselves, uh, and that's roughly between the 13,044 mark on the downside and the 13,374 level on the upside. So in a way, as long as it kind of stays inside this uh, kind of uh, this area here, we're, we're going to remain neutral and just continue observing the price action. But if this eventually gets broken through one of the sides and looking at the cash index right now, we can see that the um, the index is closer to the upper side here um, so it's slightly above the um, yes, yeah, uh, sorry, Friday's close. So in a way, if we do get a push above this 13,374 mark, and as you can see by this daily chart, the next potential target could be around the 13,597 zone. Or in a way, you could round it up towards the uh, 13,600 level, which is near the high of the or should I say near the highest point of January 2018 um, if of course if this decides to reverse lower and starts dropping below the 13,044 mark we will aim for slightly lower areas but the only thing is that uh, to bear in mind is, is this upside support line taken from the low of the 15th of August which could in a way uh, hold the price from moving lower so that's why with the downside we're going to be very careful and cautious unless it starts even breaking breaking the uh, 12,795 mark here and of course this upside support line. Only then we will uh, start getting more comfortable with lower areas. So let's keep an eye on this one guys. For now we're neutral on the on the DAX. Uh, WTI oil. Now on Friday we got a fantastic slump a slide here and uh, basically dropped it broke out of the rising channel pattern that i talked about uh for the whole week and uh basically now everything's kind of leaning more towards the downside the only thing is that probably for those who are more on the cautious side you could just wait this one out a little bit here and uh, wait for uh the uh, wait for the uh, commodity to drop below this key area of support now this key area of support is roughly around the 54.83 mark uh, that that's the low of the 20th of November and if we do get a drop below this then yep further declines could be possible but for now we're gonna be very careful and cautious here uh, in terms of the upside now some levels need to be adjusted here so this can get go away um, but what we'll, we'll we'll keep an eye on is of course if this uh, if the price starts climbing back inside the rising channel and we see a push above the 57.20 mark here then there is a good possibility we could see this one drifting a little bit higher 
here again, maybe testing initially the 58.70 mark, uh, which previously, as you can see, acted as a very strong area of resistance, um, um, or should I say throughout the whole of November, it acted as a very strong area of resistance. But if that gets broken, yep, uh, higher levels could be met. Uh, but for now, it seems that the upside could be slightly off the table. Uh, DXY. Now, uh, this is something that I really wanted to show you guys, and basically, I talked about this one last week, and this is a perfect example where we need to wait for a, a nice uh, close, uh, at least of a four-hour candle. Now, this is, and I'll show you a few scenarios here as well, <clears throat> where basically we that's the reason why i always keep saying that we need to see either a close of a four hour candle or maybe a, a, or or um or a daily candle so of course ideally we would like to see a daily close but a four hour candle could be that first step in the door so um this is why guys for now um you can see that uh yes we did have a nice pop here through our level 98.45 but uh then actually it ended up being a false breakout and as you can see um it did travel higher but even didn't even close a four hour candle here and uh, drifted back down so that's why we're going to be very careful still the same rule applies here we are uh keeping an eye on the on this barrier the 98.45 but we as i said we need to see a close at least of a four hour candle and then we could start considering higher levels um don't get me wrong this even if this drifts a little bit lower the bulls still have uh a, a kind of an opportunity to step in here uh near this upside support line and uh then yes uh if it if it holds then yeah uh, we could see a nice rebound and a push back to the upside but if this uh, upside line starts getting broken uh and we see a, dro a rate drop below the or the price drop below the 98 zone then well this is where it could turn out to be ugly for the bulls and more bears could be joining in uh AUD JPY now jumping into a few pairs now um this, this is the also a similar uh example to DXY where we are waiting for a nice close of a four, of a candle so either a 4 hour candle or ideally a daily candle so you can see that this barrier right here and this is what I talked about last week uh, we are keeping an eye on this barrier right here near the uh 74.30 mark and uh we keep getting overshoots here but neither of the 4 hour candles wants to close above this so in a way that's why we're going to be very careful and cautious here yes we are still trading overall above the subside support line taken from the low of the 23rd of august in a way all this kind of is leaning more towards the uh the upside but again we need to see that nice good close above this barrier before we could examine higher levels in terms of the downside uh it's a pretty straightforward here uh a pretty straightforward idea uh a break of the subside line and a drop and also a, a nice good close uh, below the 73.89 level this is what we would be looking for in order to consider slightly lower areas here and initially we'll target the 73.34 mark and then we'll take it from there uh AUD usd now something that i really wanted to show you a slightly messy chart um probably needs to be updated and well not probably not probably but um needs to be updated so we'll remove all the drawings here and uh we'll have a look at it again so basically after uh the pair found good resistance near this area right here near the 0 0.69 uh 30 let's round it up here um mark and uh it drifted lower it started moving to the downside um again for now uh, the I initial idea was that if the uh the pair starts dropping below this this area here of support near the 0 0.6766 then it increases the chances of a further move lower we did get a drop but as you can see then the bulls quickly pushed the rate back above it then it, it fell back down again so in a way this level gets violated so we'll probably get rid of it and we're not going to focus on it too much um we will Keep an eye on this uh, low that we saw here on Friday near the, um, oh, let me just quickly adjust this, there we go, near the 0 0.6751 zone. Um, if we see a drop below this, this of course would confirm a forthcoming lower low and we could start uh, uh, drifting further south. And uh, further south we could start targeting here uh, near the 0 0.6720 mark, which is the low of the 16th of October. Now, again, that said, that's that's in the scenario if we see a drop below the 0 0.6752 mark. So um, if that doesn't happen, and um, bear with me one moment, guys. 
if that doesn't happen um, and we see a um, a, a, draw, a push higher now and something that I wanted to kind of quickly show you here guys so of course we do have this little short-term tentative downside um, resistance line here running from the uh, high of the uh, 19th of November but um, also we we what I wanted to show you we might be getting ourselves a nice veg which already we see the um the upper side of the veg getting broken so in a way all this kind of increases the chances of a possible move higher um of course this move higher would come in line with the idea of a dxy maybe retracing a little bit lower but for now of course this is just an idea this is just a, a veg pattern here uh, of course these tend to break to the upside but some confirmations are required so in a way um if we get a push and a nice good uh, close at least of a four hour candle above the 0.6780 zone then yep we'll slowly start considering higher levels again uh, there are some uh, key areas of resistance that uh, in a way could be um, could be met or could keep the rate down so that's why with the upside we'll be very careful initially we'll target the, the 200 EMA here on the four hour chart and uh, that's roughly near the 0 0.6810 uh, mark um, and then we'll take it from there so for now guys uh, long story short on AUD USD we need to see a nice good uh, close here at least of a four hour candle before we could consider higher levels and we need to see a close above the 0 0.6780 zone right here um, and that's basically the high of Friday um, and in terms of the downside very straight straightforward here a drop below the 0.6751 could in a way do the trick here for more sellers and we could see this one drifting lower so keep your eyes on that one as well and let me just and this is where the um, by the way the falling veg you could sc scrap that idea um, if we see a drop below this level right here the 0.6751 we will we will like I said, remove this remove this uh, for Information from the chart. Um, USD CAD. Now, um, I talked about this one as well, and uh, basically uh, last week I told you about this one to keep an eye on some of these um, interesting patterns here so of course we do have ourselves from the very short-term perspective we do have ourselves a nice falling uh, channel here where the pair continues to trade in on Friday did try to over over uh, well try to kind of climb above it but failed uh, even to close a four-hour candle and we saw this one drifting to the downside that said it still remains above the upside support line taken from the low of the 29th of October so in a way um, it, it does have also a chance to maybe to, uh, to rebound and push to the upside again but given the situation given the um, how it's kind of performing right now probably in order to get a little bit more comfortable with uh, the upside a push above the 1.3328 zone here uh, would be needed so um, if we get a push above this level here which is the highest point of November then we will consider higher levels only then because here it might move higher break out of this falling channel uh, play around somewhere around here and then reverse back to the downside form form something like a double top here and then yep move lower but again that's a bit a bit of speculation here um so that's why guys for now uh we'll we'll wait for a push above this 1.3328 zone before ex examining higher levels in terms of the downside a drop below this level right here the 1.3251 this is where we will <clears throat> also start considering lower areas uh, of course there are a bunch of obstacles to overcome here if especially if it drops below the 200 EMA here on the four hour chart now this is where it could become a little bit more exciting for these sellers so but for now for now guys uh, yes we we cannot really do much we just continue observing the, pr the price action and uh, keep waiting for uh, a break through one of our levels uh, GBP NZD Mm, something that I also talked about and uh, last week I, I told you to keep an eye on this upside support line taken from the low of the 29th of July but as you can see um, now I mean it did try to move higher did try to overcome this level also that I mentioned here the 2.0164 mark roughly around there so it, it tried to overcome it but failed to do so and uh, now you can see the rate drifted lower broke this upside line and uh, the big question here is can 
the pair drew, drop below the psychological two mark and can it actually and in, in this in this situation actually what we will do is we'll wait for a daily close because probably a four hour candle would not do it would not help here and um, that's why we would like to see a daily close below the the psychological two zone before examining lower areas with the upside um, you can see that we do have a very conservative conservative approach here uh, only above the 2.0324 mark 20 25 roughly around there that we will uh, start aiming for higher levels until then we're not doing anything here um, we will, we could also consider higher levels if we get a push above this and we if we get a, a four hour candle close here now this is where it could in a way work out um, uh, we if we do see a draw uh, a push above the 2.0164.65 mark uh, if we do get a nice close of a four hour candle above that then yes we will aim for higher levels and the last uh, pair for this uh, session is the euro dollar now this is another example where we needed to see a nice good close at least below this 1.0989 and this is what I kept talking about so on Friday we've posted this idea here for uh, for short uh, when it broke the the key support area here but what I was what we were saying here uh, is if we see a daily close below that key support area only then we will aim for lower areas so as you can see we didn't even get a four hour candle close and uh, the the pair reversed back to the upside we can get rid of this for now and uh, we'll still keep an eye on this this level because that's the level for us to from where to, we will consider lower areas. Um, but until then, if with the downside, well, we'll we'll scrap any downside ideas. But like I said, we'll consider the downside only if we see a drop below the 1.0989. In terms of the upside, we'll start considering higher levels if we get a push above the 1.1043. Um, this this way, the rate could also climb uh, above the 200 EMA on the four-hour chart and. Uh, uh, there's this is where we could potentially like I said consider slightly higher levels the only thing is that mm, the um, the upside here for us to get comfortable ideally we would like to see a push above the uh, 1.1093 level before getting excited with e even higher levels so that's why guys for now keep your eyes on this one Okay, guys, I really hope you found it useful, and I really apologize if the quality of the video is not very good. Um, I, I am experiencing a few technical issues here, guys, so I do apologize for that, um, but I, I hope you can view the um, the video in recording, so just in case if the, like I said, if the stream was not very well, so, uh, but yes, again, again, apologies for that. I'll try to fix that as soon as possible, uh, but please bear with me, guys, and uh, yes, I hope um, didn't really cause you too much inconvenience but once again thank you very much for joining in and have a wonderful trading day guys and i'll see you later in my traders uh, tea time at 14 15 gmt thank you very much and bye bye